What's up guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be a school project video. I haven't, I haven't done one of these in a while, but let's start off here. And unlike any other video, I got notes. All right, and so I'm gonna talk about. That's for my environmental science class, my final project. So of course, might as well, you know, do, do it here right now. I'll be talking about light pollution. And the reason why I chose light pollution is because you know, it's a bit of an obscure topic, right? It's a bit of a topic that not many people know about, pollution not many people know about, right? But, I mean, it, it's a pretty it's a big issue, right? Not, It's not too big of an issue. It's not that big of an issue, but it's still a big issue, right? Not as big as, you know, air pollution, all right? But still pretty big, right? Now, one of the things about light pollution is it could affect human behavior, right? Because normally, right, with, with a light on like this, you just automatically like, oh, light, stay awake sort of thing, right? And when the light's on, you're like, ah, sleepy time, right? But if you live in a city, right, where some bright lights like Los Angeles or Las Vegas, right? I'm saying right a lot. But uh, yeah, so if you live in those like types of cities, right, where it's just pure light for extended periods and if you like expose yourself without you know closing the blinds and stuff, you're gonna be you're gonna stay awake, you're gonna develop insomnia, and if you don't get sleep, you'll die. Right? And animal behavior, I mean animal behavior is a weird bit, but some you know animals, right? Uh the same sort of thing as humans, right? Where it's like, ooh, see light must stay awake. There, there's little snow light, sleep time, right? Affects them like that. And with if I'm correct, with crickets mating. Not not 100% sure on this, but crickets mating, right? They normally mate at night. That's why they had to make the, those sounds, right? And they do that, right? So that way they could, you know, mate. But since they can't make the sound because middle of the day, and I think I remember correct, crickets are nocturnal. Not 100% not sure on that, but I'm confident they are, right? They can't mate, and they don't have any children. So, right, that's bad. And since it is, you know, around the holiday season, right? Christmas lights, you know, especially now, right? So if you live in, like, a person, like, right across the street from you has Christmas lights, it's going to keep you up all night. S same thing with human behavior, right? And another thing, I remember reading this in an article I did in fifth grade, fifth, sixth grade. I remember reading this article online about how light pollution is, um... Confusing little baby sea turtles, right? As they, they're guided by the moonlight to go into the ocean, right? Go into the ocean, go there, have a nice life. May, maybe getting by a seagull or two. Maybe two of them getting by. Maybe two of them getting by a seagull. But hey, that that's you know uh, what is Darwinism, right? They go in there. No, not not have Darwinism. Uh, survival of the fittest, right? You know, the baby sea turtles, right? Don't manage to get into the water in time. Seagulls eat them. Go in. Gone, sort of thing. And with baby sea turtles, right? Sometimes they're they hatch at night, right? So those ones have a big advantage. But if they live by a city like Miami or something, they get confused by the sea lights. Like, I think that's the water. Go over there. Ran over by a car or eaten by an animal, sort of thing, right? So there's that. All right. And here's something not not entirely like pollution, but something. Still a bit annoying, right? Some of my neighbors live, yeah, like, like the like backyard neighbors, right? Always has their light on. For like almost every night they have their light on. I can barely sleep because of that. Because I see the light, and I'm like, oh, so I have to have like something try and block it. Sometimes it doesn't work all the all the time though. So some days I just don't get enough sleep, which is one thing about light pollution. People don't get enough sleep because of light pollution. Especially when you live in large cities. Luckily for me, I don't live in that large of a city. It's still considered a town, but I think it's not considered a growing town, becoming a city sort of thing. So, yeah. And that uh, about wraps it up for this video. Not as long as I wanted it to be. But hey, and if you like this video, right? Even though it's a school product video, I haven't done a school product video in like what? Since my English class, so. Hey, I think I might have improved, but hey, uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, if not, hey, that's okay, and I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.